by the way, for your Pokemon trainers. Uh, mine's just Mine. Joe. Uh, mine's Holly. <laughs> mine's Big D Daddy from Cincinnati. <laughs> Big D for sure. Big D. Big, big D, D, big D in the no, I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna be Morgan. I'm ready to stream with you, Joe. Uh, We're all, all right. Ourselves. All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. Hello and welcome, PML. We are doing some Pokemon D and D. Hello. <laughs> hey, what's up? Um. You can also watch us on Twitch. Uh, the Joey Lama. Uh, I think Morgan has something to say to you. Hi, I'm ten years old today, and it's my very first Pokemon adventure. You're not really ten. You guys have been no. starting on your Pokemon adventure for a little bit. We're ten. No, okay. I'm, I'm ten. So <laughs> I'm uh, ten. I'm two. Check out my YouTube channel. Yeah. So uh, we're starting. So. So yeah, so we're doing um, D and D, but we're doing Pokemon style. Um, it, things are a little bit different. Things are a little bit the same. You have a Pokemon or you have a class, uh, but you're just basically a Pokemon trainer. Um, so uh, we're gonna start this off. Everybody's already got their characters ready, got their Pokemon ready. Uh, um, we're gonna. Um, so everybody, basically, you guys have already had your adventure for a while. You guys have been starting out. Uh, you guys learn um, about a new uh, Pokemon contest going on that starts in Unova. There is going to be um, three different qualifiers to get into the big tournament that will eventually take place in Unova. And then you have to try to win, um, at least get top three in the qualifiers and at least get top three in the big tournaments in order to get into the, even the bigger tournament that's going to take place uh, often uh, at the Aether of Paradise and um, uh, by Aloha. Um, so you guys all start, and you guys know, all know that one of the first qualifiers you know that is in uh, Burbank City. So you guys are all making your way there, and you all pretty much arrive. So you guys see the city is hustling and bustling, um, and it's all that stuff. And then, um, and we're basically a lot of the stuff we're just gonna kind of make up as we go. I'm like I know I'm probably gonna be wrong about a lot of Pokemon history and all that stuff and buildings and stuff, but you know, this is just gonna be kind of our own thing. So you know, you see the Pokemon Center and the Pokemon. Um, Mart and all that stuff. Um, what town are we in? Uh, Burbank City. And you, Burbank and you, City. Do you know that? Uh, uh, all right. So I don't have to be ten years old. No, you don't. No, cool. no. You, uh, you guys, you guys I have been we on our adventure. Good. You guys at least have like, your starter leveled up and stuff like that. Um, so I'm eleven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You you can be you can be whatever age makes you feel good. I suppose I'm gonna be fourteen. <laughs> That's fine. Does it make you feel good about yourself to be fourteen? Yes. No bills. Who doesn't want to be fourteen <laughs> again? Just me in the open road, and my Pokemon. So yeah, so Burbank City, uh, it's by a port. There's a boat and stuff like that. Um, there's actually they've uh, built um, a giant stage everything you see there's a lot of people there obviously because everybody knows that the big tournament's going on it's a a two-on-two -two pokemon tournament um a lot of people are showing up uh and then they built this huge like stage out in the middle of the ocean basically and there's like you know walkways to get up there and stuff like that and you can see like some pokemon battles going on people playing and stuff like that um practicing and everything uh and then you see like a huge reservation booth right there by um, where the stage is. And it says, you know, registration for the qualifier, blah, 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 all that stuff. So what do you guys do when you first arrive? Uh, let's go, Joe. What do you do when you first arrive? All right. So your boy Joe is walking in the city with Charmeleon. And city, what city was it again? Burbank. Burbank. Burbank so, City. Okay. So... <laughs> I'm taking Charmeleon over to Burbank City, and we're checking out uh, Roxanne's yeah, Charmeleon gym. Out. Charmeleon out or in the ball? Out, following me. Okay. And uh, we go to Roxanne's gym to watch her band play. Okay. So you you uh, pop into Roxanne's, and the band's playing. They're playing you know, some good old rancid covers and all that stuff, uh, rocking it out. You, do you know any rancid, Joe? No. Why not? <laughs> We're just playing some, you know, 
traditional punk music and everything like that. Uh, you see, um, you know, a couple people with their uh, Pokemon Alley. You see a lot of Poison Pokemon, obviously, in Burbank, and then Roxy's Bar. Um, you know, and everybody's just kind of chilling. So, uh, Holly, what are you doing? I feel like the first place you always go when you come to a new city is the Poke Center. Okay, so you pop in the Poke Center. Uh, you see Nurse Joy. You hand your Pokemon off to Nurse Joy. Um, <coughs> obviously, she looks like all the other Nurse Joys. Uh, she says thank you and then takes her Pokemon and then the do, 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 do. <laughs> Pokemon are healed. She hands them back. Uh, you see quite a few people. Um, you see one guy in a um, almost like a lab coat, but it's, it's not a full lab coat just yet. And he's got his like big spectacles on, and you know he's got a Pokemon. He's uh, a couple Pokeballs on him. Uh, he kind of looks like a, a researcher type. And then you see just like a couple other you know other Pokemon trainers and everything like that. And then Morgan, what are you doing? I'm walking up and I'm looking around, seeing all the sights. Oh wow! And then I go to the Pokemon Center as well. <laughs> Bye, Carly. <laughs> So you, you walk in, you see uh, you see the same researcher that she sees, and you see um, uh, you see her character standing around. Uh, go go ahead, uh, describe what your character looks like, Holly. Just just you. Know, <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. You guys, so you guys can just pretty much play yourselves. Is that what you're, that's what you're yeah, doing. we're all we're just all ourselves. Yeah. That's fine. So you see Holly standing over there, and then you see the researcher person, you see other Pokemon trainers. Uh, you go see Nurse Joy, you give her your Pokemon, you hear the do, 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 do. and then Chansey comes out. <laughs> she gives you the Pokemon, and your Pokemon are all healed. Oh, so, a Chansey. What are you doing? I'm going to try and catch it. <laughs> uh, Nurse Joy sees you pick up her Pokeball, and she immediately says, do I need to call my cousin? Uh, it the was police a, officer? Oh my god! It oh was a god. joke. No, my, my brain is just farted right oh now. It was uh, a joke. Could calm down. It was a joke. There's no joking here. Officer, you want to, uh, Officer Penny, Jenny. Jenny. <laughs> officer, do I need to call my cousin, Officer Jenny? I don't care if it's a joke or not. You know, we don't joke about that kind of stuff right here. We've already I'm, had to deal with Team Plasma, and now Team Rocket's starting to make their way here too. We're not happy about that. Oh no, I didn't know. I'm so sorry. Yeah. May I use the restroom? <laughs> May I support me in the, the direction of the facilities? She starts shushing away as she's taking other people's Pokemon. I, I, I don't have time for you. I don't need yeah. your, your <laughs> services anyway. My Pokemon are fully yeah. healed. Oh, you're already dead. Okay. Are you using your Pokemon? But Professor Penny. So while this is going on, you see Nurse Joy yelling at this poor, this kid over here. Fourteen. Fourteen year old child. So you hear Holly say that. Fuck you. <laughs> hey, Fuck you, we're not gonna have that do I need to have you? Do I need to get you out of here? You're gonna have you to do leave? something. Cause I'm <laughs> fucking leaving. She starts tell, she starts telling you to leave. She starts telling you to leave. I'm fucking leaving. You won't get my money. <laughs> So you, so you see out. Morgan just like walk out. I'm out. <laughs> Fucking, I'm spitting. I'm spitting and acting a fool, kicking shit over. <laughs> it's <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> it's ma'am. <laughs> All right. Make a make a perception check, Morgan. A perception. Okay. Eighteen. Do so I even? Yeah, eighteen. Uh. You you know it's Holly's following you. Hold on, hold on. I'm getting bitched at. Hold on. What? Oh no. Am I yelling? Am I yelling? <laughs> Is it really yelling? Okay, I won't yell anymore. Shut your motherfucking ass up, boy. <laughs> I gotta be quiet. <laughs> no more accent. <laughs> okay. So you notice you notice Holly's following you. Creep. Oh me? Yeah, yeah. So you notice, you notice Holly is following you. Why are you following me? I mean, yeah, I'm trying to be a little bit stealthy. Okay, so well, like I don't want him to know I'm following okay, me. Right. But let's see what the fuck this dude's about to do. So roll a um, uh, what's it called? I don't know. Yeah, here's here's ours. 
want to see that. It's sort of like yours. Roll a uh, um, stealth check. So 13 plus your stealth on um, your sheet. Mine. Dude, I've never noticed how like perfectly these rules work for Pokemon. Though. It's pretty dope. It is pretty dope indeed. So you don't. So you actually don't notice Holly. I don't notice her. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go register. I'm going to go make my way to register. He's going for the registration. Um. So about this time, you hear a loud uh, loudspeaker say. Registration will close in 10 minutes. Registration will close in 10 minutes. All right, I, I'm running. I'm going to start running. Oh, shit. Let's go. Can I be 16, actually? I want to be 16. You can be, sure. I'm 16, <laughs> not 14. I want to be no, 16. You hear, you hear that message, too. It's, like, played everywhere. Like, every, like, building and all that stuff. Like, it's loud enough for you to hear it. I'm already registered. When did you do that? <laughs> Before I went to the, the the gym. Oh, okay. Well, we didn't we didn't do oh, that then. So, okay. uh, so basically, so you already went to register. So you walk in. Um. So yeah, you see you see the big ass stage, and you see you know some people in line. You wait in line for a little bit. Um. And then you go ahead and um get up to the uh the registration booth. You see a nice man dressed up in a good suit. He says, Good day, sir. Are you here to register for the qualifier? Who, me? I already registered. Yes. I was here earlier. I know oh, oh, no, we're playing the scene right now. We're no, I know. Scene. That's what I'm saying. I'm playing the scene as well. I'm talking How to the old man. Registered? I haven't registered you yet. Well, I registered with somebody. They were sitting behind the counter and they said, Are you ready to register for the thing? I was like, Yeah. Well, let's, let's, let's see what your name was. Well, what was your name again? Uh, Joe. Um, are you are you lying? You have to tell me if you're lying. All right, I'm lying. I have okay, so roll, <laughs> so roll, roll, roll a deception. All right. Uh, oh yeah. So it's uh, it's just uh, one what, every roll plus your charisma modifier. What what number dice? D twenty. Oh, okay. Always a D twenty if you're doing a roll. Usually. Uh, oh, okay. What? Oh, okay. Said so that it was changed by the host, and I have a moment of notice. Did so, you pay for this? I don't know. What? I probably did. <laughs> Do you have your card put in on Zoom? I don't think so. <laughs> it says that you, it says that you upgraded it or something, so that we have unlimited it's minutes. I haven't done anything. Might have, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I use Zoom a lot. I use Zoom with a lot of other people. So my, some of them might have just done it for me and then didn't tell me. I don't know. All right. Oh, no. Rap, rap. So I use Zoom. The, the proficiency is what I add, right? No, because you're all you're at because you're you're not you're not uh you're not proficient in deception. Okay. So it's just gonna be a straight up D twenty roll plus your charisma modifier. Oh, so nine. <laughs> Okay, so okay, he believes you. Ah, oh, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> so he he looks. Oh, oh, looks like we we lost your we lost your registration. I I apologize. I apologize. And he uh, he hands you back uh, a registration fee of five hundred Poke dollars because that's what it takes to register. And he says, "Oh, my serious apologies. My serious apologies. Here's your registration back again." All right. So you got an extra five hundred Poke dollars and a free. Uh, registration. God, that's some and shit. So he, uh, <laughs> some shit. he basically takes basically takes your uh, phone, um, and then plugs it in, and then all this stuff gets downloaded, and then it tells you uh, when it's gonna start and all that stuff, and then basically tells you eventually you're gonna go go against somebody here soon. Well, thank you all for right, fixing so, my issue. <clears throat> Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Oh, oh, well, we do apologize. We do apologize. No, my um and then you see uh you see morgan and then uh make a perception check joe all right make another stealth check Polly. <clears throat> and uh the perception what do i add to that uh i don't i don't think you're proficient in that but it's just wisdom plus your d20 roll 
Okay, so it'd be 13. Uh, you see Morgan's character start running up, and you see Holly's character falling behind. Okay. Oh, do I talk and to them? Well, well you don't have you to. Morgan, you see Morgan like yeah, running. You, you, see, you, see, you see Morgan's just running up there going, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> and you see this, uh, Holly's character like falling up, falling to him, but like looking like she's trying to like stealthily like bob through the crowd so he doesn't see her. Well, there's someone running through the lobby with the creeper following. (laughs) I'm just going to leave that alone. (laughs) So, Morgan, you get up there, and then you see Joe's character, like, walking away, and you you get to the counter, and then, oh, oh, you seem in uh, quite a rush today. Yeah. You you put put a a fucking alert. (laughs) (laughs) Of course. Of course I'm in a rush. (laughs) <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad it worked. I'm glad it worked because you're here now. Yes. <laughs> Cherry, be careful yeah. with, with such la- such language in Pokemon. Do not mix. Do you not want me to curse? Is that what you're trying to get at here? Should I not curse? Should I not curse in my journey? I'm 16 years old today. I turned 16 today. <laughs> Damn, two years went by. I was say, make, make a deception check. Deception? Why? No, I am 16 now. I'm 16 now. You're 14. Yeah, I know. I changed it. Remember? Listen, I'm 16. I won't change it again. I'm 16. How many times are you going to change your age? That's it. I won't change it again. going to be like 22 in like two seconds. I won't change it again. Oh, okay, I'm okay. 16. I, I thought for a second you were 14. You do look like you're a little 14. You look a little young. You look like so. an asshole. <laughs> so that will be $500 to register for the qualifier. Here you go, Seth. So he does the same thing, uploads your phone, gives you all the information and all that stuff. Um, and then, Holly, what are you doing? Are you just, like, still trying to creep on him, or? Why are you, are you creeping uh, on him? <laughs> but he, he he's still oblivious to, to it. He's, he's talk- I know, yeah, I want to know. He's still talking to somebody, yes. Then I'll just fucking... Keep going to the registration table. Okay. So you see now. Holly walk up to the registration table. It's and not then... interesting. He's just talking to somebody. <laughs> and, it says, and he says, oh, good good, uh, good afternoon. Are you here to register as well? Yes, sir. All right. It's 500 poke dollars. So he takes... Uh, how much do I have? 1,500. All right. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so he takes 500 poke dollars. He does the same thing. We will we will be sending everybody's opponents very soon. Uh, please wait by the um, the waiting area. And he sends you over, and it's a just a big ass field basically. And you see a whole bunch of different trainers and stuff like that. Um, Morgan and Joe or Morgan and Holly uh, will recognize the researcher type dude that's there. Um, and then you just see a whole bunch of different Pokemon trainers and all that stuff. Uh, and then you see a big stage and a microphone or whatever. It looks like there's going to be an announcement there eventually. Um, and then all of a sudden, you guys see a... Let's get some cool Pokemon out. Let's get some cool Pokemon. Yeah, hold on. Morgan, it's time to go poop. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, <laughs> somehow it's gone away. Somehow, you guys, you guys, will, you guys will it will come back. You guys, you guys come like back stronger. What are you guys? So when you guys uh, first walk in, what are you guys doing? Like, what are you guys surveying the situations? Like, what are you? I'm scoping out the scene. <clears throat> okay, so make a make an investigation check. I got an eight. <clears throat> Wait, hang on, hang on. I'm proficient in investigation, so I got a 14. Yeah. You got a 14? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you uh, you know a, a lot of different people from different um, areas and different um, uh, continents or whatever, different leagues and stuff like that. Um, uh, you, know, you know, it's a very various different ages, but mostly young people. Um, that's pretty much what you, what you get from that. Okay. Yeah. Do I see it? What kind of Pokemon do I see? Do I see anything cool? Uh you you see um a couple of Pokemon that you notice from Kanto. See a uh, you actually see you actually see a, a Charmeleon. 
Um, that's Joe's. And then you see um, a war turtle. Um, and then you see. Uh, I want to walk up to the guy with the charmeleon. Okay, so you walk up to Joe. Joe, what are you doing right now? I am. I have both of my Pokemon now, and I'm grooming my giraffe rig. Okay, so you see him uh, grooming his giraffe ring right now with Charmeleon kind of like helping, like, you know, get some of the hairs or whatever, and like kind of like grooming him, helping groom as well, and like brushing with his paws and stuff. Wow. Hello, sir. I really like your Charmeleon. I have a thing for dragon type Pokemon and things that look like lizards. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, what Pokemon do you have? I have these. I'm going to throw out my crocodile <laughs> and my dread again. So you see a, a little crocodile. No, oh, he's not little. He's fucking little angry. Dreadigan's big this, as fuck. Uh, yeah, you see this big ass uh, blue and red dragon. Um, you notice a couple of people kind of looking after you brought bring it out, like, you know, like this cocky, you know, this cocky motherfucker kind of like starts to like. It wasn't meant to be yeah. cocky. He asked. I was just saying him. <laughs> I wasn't in character. No one said that. I'm just saying. You just noticed a couple of people kind of looking at you like, like this dude, like. Okay, and I'm looking back at him like, <laughs> fuck you, boomer. <laughs> what? They're mad. They're just mad. Those your your charmeleon will be really big one day, too. <laughs> Those are some pretty impressive Pokemon. That Dredagon is something I would like to battle. Oh, do you want to have a battle now? Yeah, I think we'll wait for the tournament. I, oh. think, I think we'll get paired pretty early. Oh, okay. Well then, nice to meet you. Cheerio. Nice, nice to meet you too. I'm going to turn and walk away. Weird guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Weird guy. <laughs> 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 Sorry, hold on. <laughs> this is great. I'm having this is the the most fun I've had with D and D in a very long time. Already. Are you? Do you have the Rona, Joe? <laughs> that's what he's calling them. Allergies. Sounds like. Sounds like coronavirus. Sounds like Rona. I'm so glad that you can't you can't infect me. True. Okay, so okay, so um, all of a sudden you guys uh see an, a nine tails pop out and it's uh fighting a uh, Min show out of nowhere. You see a battle break out. And see, see we could have battled you, pussy. <laughs> pussy. I said that to myself out loud. <laughs> you see the, the men show just like go straight for uh, a fake out and then automatically just like um, goes out and smacks the nine tails right in the face and all of a sudden you see like a whole bunch of like officials and stuff like that start coming out it's like no no we're fighting no fighting no fighting no fighting see that and that they take away the trainer beat his ass <laughs> beat his ass Hey, hey, no instigating, no instigating. There should be no fighting before the tournament. Oh, like, you two, out, out now. You guys were disqualified. Oh. I'm glad um, that we didn't <laughs> battle. Everybody make a perception check. These nuts. Fuck, I got a four. I got a 12. Uh, let me see. I don't think you're proficient in it, no. <clears throat> so it's just plus your wisdom now. Okay, so no one sees it. I got twelve. <clears throat> you got twelve. You don't see it. No. Oh. All right. So all of a sudden, um, you see a whole bunch of fireworks start popping off uh, off the stage and off the behind the uh, big other big stage or the the uh, the arena that they have built over there. You see a bunch of fireworks pop off of that. You see everything pop off the. Um, other stage uh, where the microphone is and all that stuff and <laughs> all these different colors. You see like a couple of them pop off into Pokeballs and a couple of them pop off into like Charizards and stuff like that. Um, and then you see uh, everybody kind of turn around and get ready for an announcement. Um, you see uh, 
Hmm. Who's who is a champion from you know? Uh, Dr- no. Uh, fucking blonde chick. Drayden, right? Oh, Cynthia. Is no, that's Cynthia. that's Sino. That is Sino. That right? is Never mind. Never it's mind. It's that Alder. Alder. There you go. Alder. See Alder. Oh, the most come forgettable up to the stage. of them all. Um, you see Alder come up to the stage uh, with his entourage, and um, he goes, "Welcome everybody." To the first qualifier of the Unova League tournament. Normally, we would have you go and find out who the best is by um, going against the Elite Four. But as of right now, the Elite Four has disbanded. All Shit. gyms have disbanded. Ah, uh, fuck this unfortunately, League. What? What, <laughs> what do you mean? Unfortunately, we're looking for alternatives. And even new dream leaders. We're unsure at this time. This has happened too sudden. So and how we is, have no idea what to do with So how are you a champion this. with no Elite Four? Uh, he doesn't, he doesn't can't hear you. He can't hear you. He's all the way up on the stage. I can yell louder. Um, <laughs> as of right now, there are no champions either. I am no longer a champion. Get the fuck That's off why I will also be joining... <laughs> I will also be joining these tournaments as well. Not this one, though, so you guys are all safe. I use uh, thaumaturgy <laughs> to project my voice and call you the fuck out. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I'm doing. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm say, let's just come with Pokemon. We can do this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Anyway, um, he says, uh, this is going to be the start of this. If you get if you can do three qualifiers, you will be able to qualify for the big um, Unova tournament that will take place later, uh, where the Elite Four used to be. And whoever can do that and then go on to the other leagues and win tournaments there will be able to um, get into the grand championship Uh-oh. that we're going to be having at Aether Paradise in the Lowen territory. Oh, Aether Paradise. And whoever gets that will have their choice of what we do with the leagues from now on. Oh. So we can try to get gym leaders back in. You can make current gym leaders. You can do whatever you want. This yeah. is going to be the biggest prize we've ever had. And this is going to be what our future for our future generations of Pokemon trainers. So it's up to you. And then he just takes a bow and then everybody <laughs> cheers you. <laughs> um, oh, and you see uh, a Pokemon official come out. He's got the you know, official Pokemon garb on or whatever. Um, and he says, so the rules for today, two Pokemon versus two Pokemon on single battles. Once your Pokemon are knocked out, you're out of the tournament. We will, um, uh, we will have a, a top cut. And then we will go from there and blah, blah, blah. And he explains all the rules and all that stuff. <clears throat> and we will um, have pairings here very soon. So after that, everybody kind of disperses and goes out, do, does their own thing. Um, you guys will know that the tournament will probably start in about an hour. So you guys all have an hour to do what you want. Um, are you guys just all going to kind of hang together now? or So you see everybody's kind of dispersing. You just see kind of you three. Well, out. we still never met Holly yet. Hey. <clears throat> Can I ask questions? Can I ask a question outside of game? Yes. Um, are we using battle items in game like you can in like can you <coughs> use potions and shit in battle like you can in the game or is this like competitive I'm, battle? I'm gonna game? say I'm gonna say not in tournaments. Okay, not in tournaments. Not when you're, right. in, you're in tournament format. Like you won't okay. be able to use XP or anything like that. You can buy items for your Pokemon to hold. Like the okay. um, like the okay. and all, that shit. all right, I'm gonna go. Is there a Pokemart? Thank. Let me see. There might not even be berries in here. Let me. I know. Let me look at the items. I love you. I love you. I love too, you buddy. too, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't talking to you. Uh, I fucking love you, dude. It's okay. I love you guys right. too. Don't worry. Uh, let me see. Hold on. Oh, yeah, yes, like, you can't get berries. Uh, just tell me what berry you want. I'll tell you what it does in here. And then you can also get some of the held items. Okay, I'm going to go to wherever that is and go try and buy some items. Okay, 
so there's the Pokemon that we'll ha- we'll only really have right now is uh, potions and stuff like that and Pokeballs. And then you, uh, you do see a lot of different vendors and stuff like that that um, have uh, various items and everything. But um, you notice that some of the held items are pretty pricey. How well, pricey? Uh, okay. Depending on what you want. Well, tell me no, what there is no, and what I can... Like, what, what, I you, what, are you, what are you looking at? Well, I don't want to tell you. Let's see. Let's see. What, what, what could be there? <clears throat> is it on um, the you list? See somebody selling, you see somebody selling a black belt. You see somebody selling an air balloon. Uh, you see somebody holding, uh, selling a focus band. What does um, a black belt do? Does it power up fighting type moves or is it all physical uh, attacks? Holder adds proficiency, proficiency bonus to damage from fighting type moves once per move. Okay, and what does... Plus, uh, plus 4,400. Oh, shit. So I can't afford any of this? Well, the air balloon's 1,000. The focus band is 1,000. What does uh, focus <laughs> band do? So roll D20 when suffering from the flinch status. On a 10 or higher, you do not flinch. Nah, never mind. Yeah, that's not what it normally does. No, it's going to be different. Yeah, I know. Uh, you can get a quick... Well, you can get a quick call for a thousand, which will increase your initiative uh, by three when you have that active Pokemon out. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, nah, I'm so I'm, I'm just gonna go. Okay, okay, so you're just gonna. You're, so you're just. Yeah. You, let me let me talk to him. Let me let me try and haggle for the quick call. All right. Roll a persuasion. There. Ah, uh, ten. Uh, he, uh, he knocks 200 off, so 800. All right, I'll buy it. He rolled low. <laughs> All right, so you got a quick claw. So, this, uh, put it on whatever Pokemon, just write it down. All right, Joe, are you doing what anything? Is it? Yeah, what does it do? Oh, so. You get, you get, Can you... so you're only going off your initiative on your, your, your sheet. You don't worry about your Pokemon's initiative. Only worry okay. about your initiative. And then okay. you'll get plus three to your roll. On your initiative, so you're basically getting a plus. Your plus your dexterity plus that um that plus three. So plus three is. to roll on initiative. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right, Joe. What are you doing? Um, I'm also going to the mart to see what items I can get. <clears throat> okay, so basically, the same stuff. Are you looking for anything specific? Specific. Um, I'm looking at it right now. Okay. Can you see that list? All right, I'm I'm gonna get a. I'm gonna talk to the guy about the air balloon. Okay, so uh, go ahead and roll me a persuasion check. Okay. You got it, dude. <clears throat> so I got. Did you roll? Uh, plus what is it? So fifteen. You got fifteen. Yeah. Uh, he takes about 300 off of that, so 700. Okay. I'll buy it for that. You got it. Uh, yeah. And then I'm also going to, uh, talk to the person about the quick claw. Okay. Uh, roll another persuasion check. Uh, do that with disadvantage. So roll it twice, take the lowest. Okay. Since you're, since you're starting to haggle. So I got two different people. Okay, I got 16 for the first one, 15 for the second one. So Damn. It, so it'd be 18. Yeah. Uh, he knocks 300 off that, too. Uh, I'll take that one as well. Okay. Yeah, I forgot you got an extra 500 for me. <clears throat> so, okay. So, 14. now I think Holly is just going to go straight there. Um, can't take a break for a second. Um, so she's just gonna basically go straight there. So all your phones start going off. You notice he's in the same area you are. It's a text message, and then it pops open. You see a little uh, hologram face pop out of your phone. Your opponent is ready. Your opponent is ready. And all right, everybody. 
I was going off that way. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to see who I got. Yeah. Um, I'm going to head over. You guys, if you guys make it towards that way. Be gone. Yeah. So you, have, you make your towards that way, and then you see a big giant screen. You see all the brackets. You guys see your name. Joe, you see your name uh, to somebody named Lucas. Or you see your name sent next to uh, somebody named uh, Brock Big Body Chess. Um, <laughs> uh, no relation. Um, and then Holly's uh, name is next to a person named. Uh, uh, Snyder Sniffles. Snyder Sniffles. <laughs> Legs all Snyder. the way up, Griffin. Snyder Sniffles. Legs all the way up. <laughs> yeah, Snyder. I gotta write all these down. Uh, Who made that one up? Man. You see my, my notebook? Um, hey, Joe, I'm fighting Legs all the way up, Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and then also you guys. Oh, that is fun. <laughs> you guys also see uh, another name, uh, Brock Big Body Chess, right? That was the other one. Brock yeah, Big Brock. My, my opponent's name is Brock <laughs> Big Body Chest. <laughs> you know, Vince. And then you see another name on there. Um, was it? Vince. McMahon? King Vince. I got big body <laughs> chest. <laughs> Brock, big body chest. <laughs> Is this the Snyder Brock? Snyder Vince? <laughs> Snyder Schnipp. Snyder Schnipp. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally just off the top of my head. I, yeah, yeah, I'm literally making this all off the top of my head, by the way. No, we got I'm it. Literally just, yeah. It's really Brock good, though. Big body oh, yeah. chest. It's funny. That's what it's supposed to be. Well, I said Lucas for Joe's name. I was like, that's kind of boring. And, okay. No, it's legs all so, the way up, Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> so Lucas uh, and Joe, you guys called up. You guys walk up there. I gotta get a couple of Pokemon for you to fight. Um, so you no rock types, please. Uh, so the first Pokemon you see is a rock type. Oh, <laughs> fuck! Rock type you can see. Uh, what's up? Uh, you want higher or low? Low. Okay. When he learned that lesson, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you. Oh, I'm not supposed to know. I'm not assuming. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> Joe, you can't beat me in a Pokemon battle on 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 the Switch. You ain't gonna beat me here. Uh, I'm a Pokemon master. I'm an ace trainer. Uh you're metagaming. Okay. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you need to shut your mouth. <laughs> you need to shut your ass. Morgan, what are you eating? These nuts. Muffins. <laughs> what? Muffins, not muffins. what Joe said. <laughs> He's eating these nuts. I'm, I'm not. I had a little, a little, those little bags of mini muffins. He's messing with legs all the way up, Griffin. Sounds I'm going to beat Brock Big Body Chest. <laughs> All right, and then you guys all see Joe's character walk up there, and you see Lucas. He's like just like this long blonde dude with like this um uh one of those uh sweaters around. He looks like you know pretty big, you know preppy whatever guy. Or pussy. Like, he's like, he's like, he's like, <laughs> brushing his glorious hair, and you see a couple of girls as his honor out. She's going, oh, hey, that oh. fits you, Joe. Like popping over him and all that stuff. Um. They all, you know, they all think he's the shizniz and all that stuff. Wow. Shiznes. Save some shiznes. pussy for the shiznes. rest of us. All right, Save some pussy I for the rest of us. Right? That's got to be where I'm at. Shiznit. Right. So I still, oh. I still don't know the type of the second Pokemon yet, right? What? 
Oh, wait, I don't know any any of the typings, right? You don't know any of the typings. Okay. So these are all going to be separate encounters? Yes. Everybody's going to have some... I'm, like I said, I'm doing this all off the top of my head as we go along. So Damn, I'm going to fall asleep on Joe's. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> me, me and my Pokemon got this. Just you got eating not... some mini muffins, Morgan. It'll be alright. <clears throat> mini there. muffins. I'm pretty sure I have narcolepsy. <laughs> I'm fairly certain I have some form of narcolepsy. Well, I think we know why you're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. Because <laughs> it's my 16th birthday. Right, get your... No, get your moves up on your screen. Like, start figuring those out. Like, uh, I know what they are. I have them written down right here. Okay. Okay. Because I'm gonna have to do the same here in a second. Uh... It's time to play the game. Time to play, it's the, time game. To play the game. All right. I'm gonna come out like Triple H. Yeah. It's I all about to be the game. The very best, like no one ever was. Bow, 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 bow. Oh, if y'all want, y'all could drop y'all links in the comments of the thing on Facebook. So hmm? you, you could drop your Twitch and your and your YouTube on. Hey, the I will do that. Facebook. Thank you, sir. Comments. All right, Thank but anyway, you, I'm about to whoop whose ass, Lucas. I don't know. My phone disappeared. Too. And the. All right, so real quick question, out of character. All right. Um, okay. Here, like, uh, for the moves, like, let's say it uses charisma and constitution. Would I add both use of those? One. Use one of those. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, and then you... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to open, like, two of the... <laughs> I'm excited. Let's do this. I'm going to end this All quick. Right. I need to open up the, another player's handbook. I like how clearly on the stream it says Big D Daddy from Cincinnati. <laughs> <laughs> Say it in your character's voice. I love how clearly on the phone I can see on the big Megatron across the battlefield it says my name big d daddy okay. from cincinnati <laughs> all right so you see the you see the official he has um the you know the the red and green flags joe's side is red um and he puts them up and he goes ready points to you joe Yes. Points to Lucas. I am ready. And all you see all the girls just like fall away and they just like almost like they're floating away and this they they like disappear basically. Um and then he throws out his first Pokemon, which is a Joltic. He goes out and he's ready to go. That was a good Joltic. Joltic. <laughs> Well, I'm going to throw out my trusty sidekick of a Pokemon and Charmeleon, go! Is he, is he in or out of the ball? He's already out of the ball. He's already well, out of the ball. I'll be right back. He's still out of the ball? Yeah, he, he, I, ne I hardly ever put my Pokemon in the Pokeball. Okay. That's that one? Yeah, Charmeleon. No, he had both of them out, I thought. Didn't you? Well, he popped the other one out, so I don't know if he, like... Uh, only Charmeleon out stays out of the Pokeball. Okay. Aww. Is that your meow? That's so cute. Okay. Moves. All right. So roll, uh, roll your initiative. So on your on your actual player sheet, mm -hmm. not not your Pokemon sheet, your player sheet, your trainer sheet. Yeah. Look what your initiative is. <laughs> and then you, you, you have a quick claw. I assumed you attached your 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 stuff, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, which one has the quick claw? Not Charmeleon. Okay, so it's just whatever your dexterity modifier is plus your D20. Okay. All right, so I'm about to roll. 
Oh, uh, all together one. Oh, okay. Oh, well, so he's going first. So the Joltig is going to go ahead and set up Electro Web. Okay. Is that a range attack? We're going to see. Oh, my God. Right <coughs> so how far away from each other are we right now? So you just normal starting spots. Whenever you throw your Pokemon out, you're you about you know that that far you know like you're you're decently close. So like forty you're, you're feet. Both, you're both like walking distance. Like you both can reach each other with thirty feet. Okay, thirty feet. Or, or like early twenty five feet, thirty feet, <clears> like whatever. <throat> like you'll be able to reach each other. Okay. Uh. All right, one action. So it's a range of forty feet. Uh, unleashes, unleashes an electro net web upon an opponent. I make a uh, range attack roll. So let me see here. Hold on. Sorry, guys, if this is taking too long. This is we're all just trying to learn this system out here. Oh my shit doesn't want to fucking load. I mean, there's just too much going on in here. <laughs> Maybe. All right, so basically, oh, it's doing. All right, so range attack, B is <coughs> dexterity. So I assume a 19 is going to hit you. <clears throat> oh, okay. Do I have to roll? No, because it's, it's just attacking. Oh. Actually, roll, uh, roll an acrobatics. Okay, and I have a. I have a boost. On, on Charmeleon. Sorry? On Charmeleon. Yeah. And I have a boost oh, yeah, in okay. it as well. So. And acrobatics? Yeah. Okay. So I got 19. My acrobatics is plus 5. Okay. So that's 24. Okay. So. <clears throat> plus Nine, so just take four damage as the electro web pops out and hits you. Okay, four damage. Yep. Right. And then you uh, reduce the target speed by five feet. The target can use an action on its turn to remove any web from its body. The target whose speed is zero is reduced. Uh, speed is reduced to zero is restrained. Okay, so I have twenty-five uh, speed now. Yep. But you can sit. You can spend a whole turn to rip it off of you. So right now you. So you guys all see this little joltic just shoot out this electrical web. This throws right over Charmeleon. Charmeleon's just like, like just like trying to like fight it off. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Good job, little joltic. And he just brushes his hair and you I don't know where you see the girls just pop up behind you and go, Hey so he the greatest. And then they just disappear. Well you're definitely gonna pay for that, because now I use Ember. So I hurl a ball of of flames at an enemy within range, which is 60 feet. Make okay. a range attack doing 1d6 plus damage on a successful hit. If the natural roll is 19 or 20, the target is burned. Okay, so uh, roll a d20 plus your uh, dexterity modifier. Okay, so I got 11. Okay, uh... So you throw the ball of Ember, and then Joltic just goes, and just moves out of the way. So I miss completely? Yeah. You were close, though. And you just, again, you just see him, goes, ha, 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 good job, little Joltic. All right. All right, and then okay. Joltic again. He's going to go ahead and shoot another um, Electro Web at you. Oh, my God. And then he's going to make another range. Uh, and then he shoots, but... Um, uh, Charmeleon is just able enough to throw the web, uh, not throw the web off him, but he's able to dodge the other web, even though he's still in a web, and he moves he moves a couple feet away. All right, way to go, Charmeleon. Let's try another Ember attack. All right, go for it. Shit, I got a four. All right, you throw another Ember, and <sighs> Joltik just takes a jump, leap up, and Throws another electro left at you. And completely just misses. 
Electoral Red just goes out, out of nowhere and goes off the, the thing. Our Pokemon fucking the... suck. <laughs> All right, back into character. All right, Charmeleon, we got to hit this now. Let's go with the number. Absolute one. Oh, God. All right, so Charmeleon tries to, like, and then just backfires. Um, but does that get the web off me? No. Well, I hit Take myself with the flame. Charmeleon takes four damage. But if I hit myself with the flame, it'd get rid of the web. Yeah, but it would just only be like your your mouth area. Is it, you still have to take a turn to rip it off. You okay. can't you can't make a positive out of negative one. Sorry, uh, or a natural one. I'm sorry. <laughs> they do it in the anime. <laughs> All right. So Jolt. So Joltik again. He's gonna actually this time. Joltik takes a run at you and he goes, Joltik, bug bite that thing. Oh goodness. Joltik. <laughs> Don't bite that thing. Uh, last like show, by the way, make a melee attack against an opponent. <laughs> so that's probably not going to hit you because I think your AC is 15, isn't it? 14. 14. So he tries to take a bug bite at you, and uh, thankfully, Charmeleon was just uh, fast enough to get out of the way again. Okay. Still got the electric web on you. All right, Charmeleon, we really got to hit this ember here. Let's try it again. All right, I got 17. All right, you hit it. And does that, what about the type effectiveness since it's... Uh, I'm about to see. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it's, uh, yeah, it's vulnerable to fire, so do your damage. All right, so it's so a 1d12 plus one stab. Uh, let me roll. So I got eight plus one stab, so nine plus whatever. And damage. So it'll actually be double because it's vulnerable, so it'd be 18 damage. So you see, finally, you see, um, um, give me high or low. High. And that ember finally built up so much, eventually just <laughs> came out almost like a flamethrower. But it, it, uh, it was powerful enough to burn off the electric web. So the electric web is off you now. Hell and you yeah. just see uh, Charmeleon throw this huge ember ball right straight at Joltik. And Joltik takes it right in the face. His little uh, little thing, the, mandibles or whatever. Just little 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 shitty face. face. Oh, Way to go, Charmeleon. Joltik. And then all of a sudden you see those girls pop up behind you and go, You meanie, why would you do that to poor Joltik? And then they disappear again. Oh my god. <laughs> They're terrible. <laughs> All right, so Jolt is pissed now. Jolty takes another uh, jump at you for bug bite. Oh, he got you that time. So right. Jolt, you see Jolty just latch off right on the Charmeleon's neck. And just like taking a bite at you. And then you will take 1d10. Was one, so you'll take ten damage. So Charmeleon takes another ten damage. What about a uh, bug? I'm resistant to bug. So you'll take actually take eleven. So you'll take uh, five damage. All right, cool. All, All right, right, and you see, this Charmeleon just kind of brushes it off, and Jolted just pops off. <laughs> All right, Charmeleon, show him who's boss and finish us off with an ember attack. My other move sucks. That's why I keep using ember. <laughs> and why did you give it that move? Because it could come in handy. Uh, So I have 15. All right, you hit it. All right, sweet. Now let's go back to 112. <laughs> Don't choke, Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So, what happens if I hit 12 on the 12 dice? What do you mean? For the damage? Oh, it's just maximum damage. Oh, okay, so I hit 12 plus one stab is 13 plus whatever super effective is. 
Okay, like he's dying, but he turned off his mic. I'm muting myself. <laughs> All right, so uh, he, so uh, how much damage? You said 13? 13 plus whatever, super effective. And then uh, you just, all of a sudden, you see Charmeleon take another big hit right into Joltik's side. Joltik! And then he just, like, falls over. No! Joltik returns! And he's, Joltik is unable to battle. Oh, right. Uh, he got no one down. Win. Great work, Charmeleon. Let's yeah. keep it up. Go, Joe! Go, Joe! Can he hear me? Can he hear me? I'm front and center, so can he hear yeah, me? Yeah, you hear somebody something. yelling your name. You hear, you hear some go, kid yelling. Man. Joe! Hey! Thank you, Big Joe. D Daddy from Cincinnati. <laughs> next, oh, you're going to like my next Pokemon. He's ready for you. And then he throws out a ride on. Oh, oh no. bring it on. This is where he throws I... out a He throws out a Mankey. Mankey. Wait, a Mankey? <laughs> Yeah, he throws out a Mankey. All right, that's, he, that's... I, you. You right? You, you picked the right number. He, you, I rolled low, so no rock. Pokemon. Right on would be terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to. Oh, that would suck. All right, so Mankey comes out. Uh, roll initiative again. Am I able to switch, or will that take a turn? That takes a turn to switch, unless it gets knocked out. Okay, then uh, I'll just roll initiative. Yep. My initiative sucks. Uh, total of one. Again? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Not absolute <laughs> one, but it's a total of one. I got, I have, you like I said, my, it sucks. I'm telling you, my initiative, I'm always going to hit second. All right, so, well, you're adding your dexterity modifier, right? I thought you said initiative. No, what's your dexterity modifier? Oh, then it'd be five. Oh, okay. Well, you still that doesn't help. <laughs> at least it'll help for next time. Oh no! Hold on. Holy shit! <coughs> Chat on itself. Hold on. Oh shit! I forgot. I need to get rid of my PP points too. So that was what four, four or five. Oh, you don't have PP. Are you have? Is there PP points on there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there is. Yeah. Yeah. So I think you you did like three or four hits, whichever. You have to PP. get rid of your PP points. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what that means. Your power points, dumbass. Oh, is that what it means? No wonder your friend said you, you need to learn a lot about Pokemon. Oh what did God. you say? You need to learn a lot about life. The birds and the bees. Have you, hey, have you been playing the new Mortal Kombat DLC, Joe? No, I don't yes. buy DLCs. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking oh. to. Well. Oh, you're one of those guys. I was oh, talking yeah. to. I was talking to the Joe who does buy DLCs. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> well, you're gonna buy the new Pokemon DLC. I know you are. Well, yeah, that of course I have to. I don't buy DLC. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon oh, will be the first one. Oh shit, hold on. I gotta fucking. My computer just messed up. I gotta wait for these moves. Well, Joe, you should get the new Mortal Kombat DLC. Cause it... Did you ever beat the story in the first one? I haven't played it that much. I you mainly bought the it. Store? I mainly bought it so me and my wife could play, but she never plays, so it's just like, whatever. Dude, the story's so good. You should do it. It's I'm good. It. I will. I will definitely. <laughs> Well, Dude, the story's so good, and the it's fucking so DLC bad. has been phenomenal. Okay. Uh, I can't find these moves. Oh, here it goes. Hold on. I'm That's why one. I didn't recognize the story. You were doing that one, right? Oh, well, no, I was doing the story, the normal story. I haven't done the new story yet. I'm trying to go through the first story. Gotcha. Oh, I gotta wait for this fucking thing load. If the app worked, that'd be pretty dope. <laughs> I know, I wish the app would fucking work. This, this, is, a, there. this is a good move to put on a chart, Charmeleon. <clears throat> I'm going to end this battle quick. If I hit. Oh, uh, uh, single encounters are going to take a long time. Uh, we well, I, my fucking shit would load. Shut up, Je or Morgan. I don't know your name. Is. You almost <laughs> called me, Joe. 
My name is Big D Daddy. I mean, why, why don't you just why don't y'all just print out the list of moves? Dude, it's a long. Oh well, I guess it's not that much for the moves. Yeah, we're thinking about printing all these books off. I'm these definitely going to. That's a lot of shit. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. What else am I going to print? I pay for the ink. So, like, I'm yeah, gonna print it all it. in color too. Fuck it. <laughs> God, it's fucking. <clears throat> Bye. Boop. Hey, Double Joe. Are you about to send a <laughs> dick pic? What? Oh, I thought he. This looks like he's about to send a dick pic. He just does Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if it's this monitor or what. Sup's name's Joe. <laughs> I think I just have a lot of going on in my computers. Alright. Ooh, baby. Uh, I'm still there. Okay. You're driving me set. crazy. Y'all got quiet for a minute. Ooh. I'm sorry, everybody. Like I said, it's technical difficulties. I apologize. Keen about that. Like, I could look up your moves if you want, if it doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't. You might as well. I was about to ask you. I was trying to keep a secret. What, what look moves? Look at the size of the platform. Uh, For some reason, it might our fucking internet sucks here. Yes, I didn't realize it's already two seventeen in the morning. Yeah, <laughs> we're having way too much fun. I don't know. I don't know. Big D from Cincinnati. <clears throat> Big D Daddy from Cincinnati. You hear me, Kai? Uh, seismic toss. Seismic toss. Seismic toss. Seismic toss. Seismic toss. Seismic toss. It's um, it's a uh, one action, ten pp, instantaneous melee. You attempt to throw a creature into the ground with tremendous force. Make a melee attack roll, doing fighting damage equal to the opponent's level on a hit. Double on a critical hit. Seismic toss. Results in a critical hit on 19s and 20s. Nice. Okay. So. What's the other move? Mikey, Mikey jumps at you. Uh, Fury swipes. So Mikey jumps at you, tries to size and toss you, and he just completely whiffs. And just like falls in front of you. Not falls in front of you, but like he's, goes right in front of you. All right. He, he's directly in front of me? Yes. All right, I'm about to end this battle right here, right now. All right, I'm going to go Dragon Rage, and I'm not going to tell you what it does unless I hit. Okay. All right, roll, baby. I hit uh, five. Damn it. So you, you completely whiff. What was the... So your Dragon Rage or whatever just completely misses. Man. And then he's going to try for another seismic toss. Uh, 16 hits you, I believe. And then how much damage is it? Uh, Seismic toss? Uh, shit. Yeah. I was just on it. I'm sorry for boring you, Morgan. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> it's not that boring. I'm imagining it in my mind. Okay. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy figures for all my fully evolves that I get in this. And I'm going to make it. I'm going to battle out all my battles. All right. So what'd you roll? Oh my God, well, I, I, I hit you, but what's how much damage am I doing to you? Um, I didn't roll 19 or anything. It says... Make a melee <laughs> attack roll. Doing fighting damage. <laughs> Equal to the opponent's level. It just does my uh, level damage. Okay, so it does six damage to you. 
Um, All right. So he just basically takes you and picks you up, slams you to the ground. You see this little manky just pick up Charmeleons without any, without uh, barely any effort. Just throws them down to the ground. Charmeleon, no! Good job. <laughs> All right, Charmeleon, you got to hit this Dragon Rage. I'm excited to do mine. Are we doing mine next, or are you doing Holly's next? Yes, I can do yours. I'll do yours next. Cause you look, you look bored. Yeah, I got a I'm twelve. Smelling my fingers. You got a twelve? <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me see. A twelve will hit. Yes. All right. So. Uh, for Dragon Rage, you unleash a devastating flow of energy in a hundred feet line, five feet wide. Each creature caught in the blast must take a dexterity save against your move. Uh, if it fails, you have to take a 2d10 plus damage on a fail as, and, a, and half as a save. Half as much right, of that so, as a save. Okay. So it needs a dexterity save. Yeah. Let's get proficiency. Uh 12, 14. What's what's the save you have to make? Um like how much is it? Do you know? Does it say? It doesn't say. Wish I could see. I that. I guess it just says Read you it again. You unleash a devastating flow of energy in a hundred foot line, five feet wide. Each creature caught in the blast must make a deck save against your move DC. Okay, so it's what, um, what 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 is it in the move thing say? Does it say like strength or dexterity or something? Strength. Strength. So it's ten plus. What's your strength modifier? Uh, three. So thirteen, so it it passes it. Oh, it dodges it. Yeah, but what, it, it still takes damage, doesn't it? Yeah. Why'd you pick giraffic? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. So okay, so <sighs> if you fail to dodge it, you take two d ten plus the move damage. But if you save, you only take half that damage. Okay, so take so roll your two d10s. Okay, ten. Oh, my stuff is slowly but surely getting there. All right, so I got a one and a three. So that's a four. Plus the damage is three, three, uh, three eight-sided dice. So four plus. Three eight sided dice. So that's eleven. So that's fifteen. I'll take seven. All right. So you guys see Mankey, um after the seismic toss, let go Charmeleon. Charmeleon just takes a big old blue dragon breath and throws it right at Mankey. Mankey looks like it dodged out of the way, but then you see Mankey holding his arm. Mankey! And just kind of like, <laughs> hold, you know, going towards the Mankey. crater. Mankey. Mankey! Oh, you're my poor Mankey! Quick! <laughs> Fury swipes! Will you look up Fury swipes for me, please? Yeah. <coughs> of course, everybody knows Fury swipes looks like this. <laughs> I can't look at you, Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Fury swipes. Uh, okay. Strength, dexterity, 10 PP, instantaneous melee. You reach out and un good, you reach out and unleash okay. relentless claw attacks against okay. a creature. Make a melee attack roll, doing 1d4 plus move normal damage on a hit. After okay. successfully Here hitting, go. okay. I got it. Sorry. I'm reading a little faster. All right. So here he makes his move. Ooh. You missed? He just crit. No, he just crit. How? He's rolling natural 20. Damn it. So, no, you're getting fucked up. So he, uh, he rolls a 1d4 plus strength damage. 
Actually, he rolls 2d4 because of crit. So he, he does seven damage to you on that. He rolls a d, another d4. Okay, so he doesn't get another hit. So he just hits you once for um, seven damage. All right, perfect. So you see Mankey trying to make a fury swipes like this, but he only like scratches. You see him only scratch uh, Charmeleon once in the face. Way to take minimal damage, Charmeleon. Let's hit him with the ember attack. <laughs> So, you know, that is. Yep, go ahead. Yeah, what? Your battle. Morgan. Very. Hold on. Man. All right, I got 17. So, I hit. I have to make a bowl. Yep, yeah, you hit it for sure. All right. All right, so I got six plus three is nine, so ten. So uh, ten damage to it. Yeah. Oof. So you see, Ember just burst out of Charmeleon again, and just hit Minky straight in the stomach. Minky, you see, like a little of his fur burnt off, and he's not looking so hot. Okay, and then he's going to try Fury Swipes you again, and he just goes, and just completely misses you. All right, Charmeleon, your turn. let's finish this off with the Ember Attack. <laughs> 17, uh, so 19. Uh, and, you hit him. And you're burned if you don't faint from this. So. Okay. Roll. All right, so six plus ten again. Okay. So you just Charmeleon takes another big old breath, poof, and just lights up fucking Mankey. Poof, Mankey's just on fire. No, no, Mankey, Mankey. Returns and then the red flag gets put to you. Joe has won the battle. No sweat. You meanie. You see all the girls popping behind you. You're so mean. Mm -hmm. And then they just disappear and they reappear right behind the Lucas. Oh, oh, pay for me, girls, pay for me. <laughs> and you guys walk off stage and then Morgan. Morgan, please come to the stage. Morgan, Damn. Morgan, please come to the stage. I forgot to use, ah. I forgot to use my, uh, my, uh, my boost for my trainer. I was supposed to get plus one attack, uh, well twice, because of my specialization and trainer path. Never registered. Yeah, Morgan registered. Oh, okay. Damn, I could have had more health. I could have had more damage. Oh well. No sweat. Uh, we kicked his ass. Good luck out there, Big Daddy D from Cincinnati. <laughs> but uh, your Pokemon gets... Uh, <laughs> let's get a 2,000 experience. Hell yeah. So you should have you should have 8,000... No, I'm sorry. Yeah, you should have 14,000 experience points right now for uh, Charmeleon. And how much does he need to level up? Uh, 20,000. All right. Dope. All right. <coughs> well, a big D, Daddy from Cincinnati, please come to the stage. Oh, it's my turn. It's my turn. <laughs> Don't call me Big D, Daddy from. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, yeah. I can. Don't call Sorry. me Big D, Daddy. Call, call me Morgan in character because I'm 16 year old Morgan. <laughs> it's my birthday. <laughs> It's my God, birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. <laughs> All right. It's, it's so my birthday. You've been out there and you see um, a pretty muscular, tan dude. He's got his shirt off. He's got his rippling pecs. And he he's just like ripping through his like shorts a little bit. Ooh, are you ready for the fun of your life? Man, that's so graphic. I'm ready. Let's go. 
this should be fun. <laughs> oh, it will be, little boy. <laughs> little? I'm not that little. I'm, I'm not so little. You, 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 you're like a big choo choo twain. Hold on, I'm going to try to find something else fun for you. Mm. Alright, so while uh, right. Joe's doing... Oh, oh. Okay, never mind. Okay, mm-hmm. so you see him just throw out a pawn word. Pawn word, go! Let's oh. do this! A what? A pawn word. A pawn word? A pawn word? A pawn word? <laughs> Ponyard. The thing that evolves into Bisharp? Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'll throw out. These little blades popping out. I'll use my... My... Oh, hold on. Okay. I'll use my Dread again first. Or no, no. I'll throw out my Croconaw first. Alright, so you throw out Croconaw. Um... Three, eight, twelve, seven, six, eight. Alright, so roll your initiative, your uh, trainer initiative. Do I get a modifier? Oh, nat 20. Nat 20. Okay, well, it's just, um, it's just 20 plus whatever the uh, your dexterity modifier is on your trainer. Well, I got a natural 20. Do you need me to Add the... doesn't do anything else but to give you a 20 plus one. Okay. You're pretty much going to go first. Yeah. And you want me to add what to it? Your dexterity modifier. So 22. Okay, so unless he rolls really big, you're, you're definitely going to go first. I'll roll the 16, but it's still only going to be a plus. So it's only going to be 17. So you uh, you go first. What does uh, Croconaw do? All right. Croconaw is going to use Water Gun. Okay. You have it pulled up? Yeah, hold on. I've got it on my phone. Oh, that's what I should do. This shit's not working. Yep. That is what you should do. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So... It uh, you fire a quick spurt of water at a creature in range. Make a ranged attack roll, doing one d six plus move, capital move water damage yeah, on so, a hit. So on the on the thing on the move, it said there should be a couple stats there, and it's just say like a couple of the, whatever the stats are. You pick one of those stats and then you add that. What do you mean? Look at the move. It should mm-hmm. say like strength and dexterity or like wisdom and charisma, something like that. Yay. No, it doesn't. It says move power. Is that what you're talking about? Yes, but it on the actual move, it should say like strength and dexterity or something like that. No, that doesn't. Yes, it I does. See. I promise you. It says oh, water yeah. gun. Type water. Move power. Dex. Move time. There you go. Move power. Move power. Dex. Oh, Dex. Dex. There okay. you go. Sorry, what dude. does it do now? It's okay. <laughs> Jeez, you just made that so intense. It, uh, you would say, wait, what was shit? It's fucking you fire, there. You fire a quick spurt of water at a creature in range. Make a ranged attack roll doing 1d6 plus move water damage on a hit. So, Dex. Um, plus one. So one d six plus one. Well, well, no, you you have to hit the move for you have to roll the move oh. for hit. So what? D so, twenty, right? Yeah, d twenty plus uh, the move, right? Plus the move, so plus dexterity. Oh, oh is it telling you to do a range attack? Yeah. Yeah, so it's uh, plus your dexterity modifier. Sixteen. <laughs> All right, so you hit him for sure, and. So you see uh, Croconaw just like throw a little water right at Pawnward and then so roll your damage. Six damage. Five plus one. Right. So six. So it's six, six damage. Are you adding your stab? 
Oh no, seven damage. Do I add anything else? No, that should be it. <laughs> what all was I supposed to add exactly? It was stab and the um. Oh, you're supposed to add your dexterity to the move. So what did you, what did you roll for damage? He did for move, I think. Five. And then so another one, so it should be six. So how much damage? Six, da six damage. So five plus dexterity is six plus stab is seven. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so I seven, so it is seven. Well, you're like I saying rolled. like eight different numbers. No, I seven. rolled five plus okay. the stab oh, is six. Oh, you said you rolled three. No, I never said three. I never once said three. Okay, we'll go back to the play. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> all right, so you, you hit it, so you did seven damage to it. So you guys just see Krakena throw this water gun right into uh, Ponor's chest. Ponor. <laughs> I have the same noise as well. And <laughs> it's okay. He can take a little bit of water. It doesn't matter. He needs a it's little still, anyway. It's still not. Do I not get some kind of effective? You're, you're resistant to steel moves. Oh, okay. I'm going to sneeze. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. All right. So he's going to, Palmer's going to come straight at you with a. Faint attack. So he jumps on you and then he kind of like brings you close to him. And with a devastating sting, uh, make a melee attack. Oh, he just crit. Did he? Nat yeah. 20? Damn. Nat 20. Okay. Um, You're rolling good. So always with a um, regular life, always with advantage. It doesn't matter. I rolled in that twenty, and then it's one d ten, but it's going to be two d ten. It's going to be eight, nine damage to you. Nine damage. Yep. So you see, Palmer just kind of like. Come close to you, look like he's like fainting, and just stabs Crocodile right in the chest. Ugh, he could take it, can you? And then he starts. <laughs> what the fuck? He can take it, can you? Listen, I have to go get my charger. Give me just a second. Oh, come on. You had the whole time I was battling. I Are you licking your table? Yes. <laughs> the table tastes good. <laughs> Is anybody even watching on Facebook? Uh, one. I think it's me. <laughs> Probably. I don't think I have anybody either. Well, fuck. I don't, I don't think. Uh, I don't yeah. think my friend is hosting right now. Yeah, responded to me earlier. Too bad Dusty couldn't join. Yeah. <clears throat> he works Saturday nights. Dude, yeah. they they hoed me big time. That's why I was so late. They, yeah. They, they're like, because I'm still new, technically. It's only my second week. And they're supposed to be giving me, like, light routes. And they gave me like a regular route and called it a light route. I had like 142 stops. Damn. That's <clears throat> nuts. It certainly sucked. Are you chilling? <clears throat> dipping. Are you dipping? Yeah. He's dipping them nuts in his mouth. Talking to you, bitch face. Oh, me? No. I just have allergies, so I spit. Uh, all right. All right. Are you there? <laughs> Yeah, so Crocodile got a pawn words stab right in the chest. Okay, yeah, I got that. All right, my turn. Um, yep. <coughs> I'm going to water gun him again. Can I switch out? Is that an a, a full action? It takes a full action. Okay, no, I'm going to keep going. All right, I will water gun him again. 
So I'm going to roll to hit uh, 14. Okay. Uh, you got him? Got him? Okay. Yep. D6 plus one. Uh, so seven plus uh, eight. Eight damage. All right. He takes another water gun straight to the face. He's Wait, kinda... no, no, no. Nine damage. Nine damage. Sorry. Right. That's... <laughs> that stab. I should have done more damage last time, too. <coughs> yeah, that's, that's all right. Okay. Well, like I said, we're, we're starting this. We'll hey, Morgan. Uh, don't forget if your trainer gets boosts uh, to add that. I didn't add that on mine. Well, he, he's a he's a Pokemon bluster. Oh, okay. So he, sh- he only gets stats for uh, po- catching Pokemon. Oh, okay. So anyways, um, Pondworth take, or takes a water gun straight to the face, and he starts kind of like falling forward, and he goes for another fancy attack. With advantage, Ooh, that was a nat one, but he gets advantage with face. Oh, but it's only a four. And he just, like, tries to go for another one, but Crocodile learns his trick now and, like, totally just dodges it. Yep. All right, cool. And then I'm going to shoot him with another water gun. So uh, fifth, my PP needs to be going down. What is this, the third time I've used it? <laughs> This yes. is the third time I've used it. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I mean, right. maybe Twelve. twice with mine. All I was right. trying not to laugh. I really wasn't. I All, just, right. I just, I just, I... All right, I'm rolling. Uh, thirteen. You hit. Oh, really? Wow. I thought... Okay. Um, <coughs> six plus one is seven plus stat is eight. Plus dexterity is nine damage. Oof. Is it another water gun? Yeah. All right, you throw another water gun, and it takes a little chink out of its armor. A chink out of its armor. Oh, this boy paid for the fire. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is this guy? <laughs> He's at- I am rock, rock body, hard body. <laughs> this guy is on big drugs. body chest. <laughs> My mother warned me about people on drugs. You're one of those <laughs> people. <laughs> Pondward! Uh, Fury cutter now! And oh, you see Pondward just snap out of it and then... Morgan, watch out! Oh, so first hit hits you. Slices crocodile right across the chest. How do you know you hit me? That's four damage because I rolled a d20 and hit you. That's a melee attack. And I, 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 oh, rolled a, gotcha. I, rolled, I rolled a 19. I assume that's going to hit you. Yeah, yeah, it did. Okay, and then you... Actually, it's you, an 18, or it's actually a 20. So how much I damage did you do? No, yeah, uh, I did four damage on that hits. hit. Oh. I did four damage on that hit. Oh, oh easy. It's Fury Cutter. Gotcha, yeah. So then, uh, if I continue to use this move on consecutive turns, double the dice roll for damage. Each time you hit, the multiple max is out at eight times the original damage. Damage recess if any one of the attacks miss or if you are incata- incapacitated. Okay. Cool. So he's like a badass? Well, it's Fury Cutter. But he only gets On it. drugs. Okay, so he misses that hit. So he tries to go for the other hit and then completely just misses Crocodile. Completely misses Crocodile. All right. Crocodile yeah. showing off his Muhammad. So, how much damage did you do? Four. I did. I did four damage to you. Okay. So well, that was it. Because then he tried to right. go for the other one. Missed. Oh, okay. I'm gonna water gun him again. So that's eleven. Um. Seventeen. Damn, I'm rolling good. Seventeen. Yeah, you hit him. All right. So D six. I'm glad I didn't battle you now. Four plus one is five, <laughs> plus one is six, plus one is seven damage. Seven damage? Yeah. Okay. Uh, oof. That one got it straight in the face. And then it's just, it's not looking very good. It's like, and then it's going to take another faint attack. Damage. So the faint attack hits the crocodile right in the chest. And I can't 
don't understand the jaws. Uh, that's one d ten. Uh, it is nine damage plus stab ten damage. Okay. I've got thirty two HP left. Don't tell him that. It doesn't matter. I mean, not here at least. If you do, what happens if you? I mean, if you faint in this, you just go to the Pokemon Center, right? It's not like you'd well, character well, Pokemon get fainted, Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You, you don't want to get knocked out of the tournament. But your character doesn't die, right? No. Uh, I mean, technically, it could be a possibility. Your I mean, Pokemon. You do, have, you do have health. You do have HP. But can your Pokemon die for good in this? No. No. No, we're not no. knocking this. Oh, I possibly could. Okay. All right. I got gotcha. you. Okay. My turn. Water gun. 13. 13 to hit? Yeah. Oh, wait. No, wait. Yeah, because I just said it. So, yeah, yeah, you got it. Okay. So, um, all right. So, you so just uh, you basically, <coughs> you throw another water gun at it? Yeah. 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 So, water gun just like goes straight in, uh, into Palmer's chest. And then knocks it out. No! Back to training. Returns. We're gonna nickname you. Birthday. We're gonna nickname you Crocodile Sniper because he hasn't fucking missed. Yeah, he didn't miss that time. <laughs> no, he me. hasn't. Dude, dude, I missed. Or I mean, I rolled really, really well on my uh, my stat sheet for myself too. All right, so now he goes. All right, who's my faithful companion? Electric, go! Pokeball comes out, and Electric pops out. Electric, lightning just like... Oh, God. Uh-oh. Electric. Okay. Um, so, if my Pokemon faints in this match, if I, if I let my Pokemon faint in this match, it's not a big deal. I just go to the Pokemon Center, right? After the match? <coughs> Yeah, yeah, you're not gonna lose your Pokemon. Okay. Unless I cool. really feel like I need to like make you lose it. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. Continue. It's too strong. Do we have to re-roll for initiative or? Uh, yes, I am getting there. We'll speed it up. I'm just kidding. Now's a good time to plug your YouTube channel, Morgan. <sighs> I'm tired. <laughs> I don't even know the link. I don't know. I, I don't have like a. It's in the chat. Yeah. And yeah, it is. Do you have a cust? Do you have a custom link for yours? Yeah. Well, no, I have one for the PML page, but not. How'd you do that? Uh, I just go to bit.ly. You can make free links. I'm getting mad. Mm-hmm. So it'd be bit.ly slash whatever you want to call it. Go ahead and reroll your initiative. Uh, you're probably going to beat me. Oh, uh, really? Oh, uh, what do I add to it? <coughs> your dexterity modifier. I got a five. Uh, well, he got he got a three, so. Oh, really? <laughs> Shit. Okay, cool. So you're first. All right. Um, rolling to hit, so I'm gonna use Ice Fang. Is it really right. resistant to ice? No, it is not. Okay, so uh, oh, 18 to hit. So, Jeez. what do I do? I roll dex. Do I swear it was 18? Do I roll dexterity? No, no. Dexterity? No, you're you're making a melee attack now. Okay, so what does that mean? Ice what is that? Read what your text is. Oh, so you add your you add your strength modifier instead. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I see. I see. All right. That makes sense. Okay. Um, Since you rolled eighteen, does it freeze? Okay. Eighteen is strength slash dexterity. So what does that mean? So you you pick one of those stats. So I'll use strength then. So eighteen plus three is twenty-one. So I hit. Yeah, you definitely hit. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. 
so, it says you attempt to pierce an opponent with ice infused fangs <coughs> make a melee attack dealing 1d10 plus strength ice damage on a hit on a natural attack roll of 19 or 20 the target is frozen and flinches damn so close okay so make a melee attack dealing 1d10 plus my where is it Fuck, where is my D10? Here it is. That's D20. Okay. And plus three. So, ooh, gross. I rolled a one. So, four. Yeah. Four okay. Damage. So, four damage. Yeah. All right. You take a good take a bite. Uh, Crocodile takes a bite of Electric. And. Just growls and it steps back and like nothing happened to it. See, the training is working. <laughs> and then he's going to go for a. Let's go with. Let's see what this does first. Um, what should we use? All right, so. All of a sudden, you see all this electricity like going all over Lutrek's body. Lutrek, spark! And he comes running out of tackle, electric tackle, um, and makes a melee attack. Ooh, I don't know if that's going to hit. Um, no, that is not going to hit you. So he makes a tackle, and Crocodile just takes, takes a sidestep. Just barely misses him. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to use Ice Fang again. So, ew, I rolled a four. So, that okay. didn't hit. No. Actually, I'm going to look up something real quick. Right. Ew. Oof. What's Tries to make another left five tackle. So turns around. Gross. Do it again. And then completely just misses Crocodile once again. <laughs> Crocodile's right. just bouncing around. Uh, hang on. What it was. Good. I've used Ice Fang twice, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. So I'm going to do that again. 14, so 15. Uh, I believe you hit. Uh, yes, you hit. Okay, cool. So D10 plus three. Uh, nine damage. Okay. So uh, when everybody's attacks, you should add proficiency as well. I do apologize. <laughs> Okay. Well, that would on the yeah. on attack rolls. Yeah, on attack rolls. Okay, cool. Sorry, like I said, we have we're uh, we're learning the system as we go along. All right. So, uh, how much damage did you do to me? Nine. Nine. You take a, another big ice fang chunk chunk out of uh, Lodrick's shoulder. You don't use proficiency. You you don't use proficiency on damage rolls, right? Uh, no, just, just stab. Okay. But okay. you're not ice, so. Oh, wait. Okay, so 10 then. So 10 then. Okay. Oh, wait, I don't get stabbed because I'm not ice. Yeah, exactly. I say you don't get stabbed. Okay, so nine. Nine. My bad. Well, I almost, <laughs> I almost Jedi I might tricked you. <laughs> All right. So he's going to make a, another spark attack. Um... So plus five, six. So he hits you that time. My armor class is fifteen. Did you know that? I did. Okay, but cool. Also, uh, oh no, wait, his strength is a zero. So eleven plus three, fourteen. No, he missed. So okay. he takes another five, misses. Okay, cool. Um, ice thing. One small crocodile. So he's gonna 
and come at you, and he's going to roll a six. Does that hit you? No, it does not. <laughs> oh, shucks. Get back up and try again, Crocono. You know electric doesn't <laughs> resist water, right? Huh? Looks like you need a new training regiment, little man. I said, you know electric doesn't resist water, right? Yeah, I know. No, it's talking to Morgan. Oh, no, I didn't know that. So you might want to get that stab boost. Only make sure. Uh, electric flying steel. They keep a lot of those the same, for the most part. Oh, I'm looking for a different move. The spark shit ain't working. Can we go to use a different tactic? Can we like go seek Pokemon out? Like, can we go try and find things that we want? Yeah, we can do that after uh, on the next when we do this again next time. Okay. Uh, So it goes for this time. Thunderfang, let's hit them back with their own move, but with a different style. All right, so that time he does hit you because he rolled a natural 16. So oh. he does 1d10. And on natural 19 or 20, he would have got paralyzed with and punches, but he did not. And he does 6 damage plus, what's his dexterity? So 8 damage. Plus, plus because I'm weak to electricity. Yep, so it's actually uh, 16 damage. So all of a sudden you- Crocky, you just see Crocky and I take a huge thunderfang straight in the stomach. <laughs> and a little, oh no! Like a little bit of his skin just kind of like pull off just a little bit. Jesus, why are you making it so brutal? Because, man, it's a dog shit. Pokemon. He's trying to kill your Pokemon. Oh, no. That's bullshit. I don't like that at all. All right. I'm in <laughs> business now. <laughs> oh, that's why I like to see the fire in your eyes. You're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna roll again. Uh, nineteen, nineteen. So you're frozen. Oh shit! Hold on. What is it now? What does it nice say now? So you're you're frozen and you flinch. Yep. How do you get unfrozen in this I game? Find out. Where the hell did the move go? Food. There it is. Or so many turns. No, it's different on this. A natural attack roll of 19 or 20. The target is frozen and flinches. All right, so... Frozen, a frozen creature is incapac- incapacitated and restrained in combat it can attempt to break free of the ice with a dc 15 strength save at the end of each of its turns outside of combat the frozen status lasts for one hour uh flinch flinch pokemon has disadvantage on any attack roll skill check or saving throw it makes before the end of its next turn if it activates a move that requires save throw excuse me during that, that time that target has advantage on that roll so basically my first roll is at disadvantage to try to unfreeze cool all right, I'm rolling damage. Yep. So eight, uh, nine, ten, eleven damage. Oof. So you can't even tell if like you really what what you really did or anything because like all of a sudden the electric just gets frozen in a big ice block. Ha! Huh, that'll teach you. <laughs> How much damage do you do? Eight. Nah, uh, 11. It 11 looks days. like your electric gun has been frozen. Oh, no, not that. Uh. All right. And then disadvantage on a strength roll. Yeah, we took it too. So, ching. is that how it is on the game? Yeah. It's still fun. So. All right, cool. My turn. I think, and he just, uh, I hate to do this. Crocodile returns. Oh, shit. You're going to have to take that one. I can't let any more damage happen to my poor bit, my metric. So he gave up? Yeah. He gave up? Oh, cool. Do I win some money and stuff? <laughs> uh, If you win the tournament. Oh, what do I win for that? Do I get some experience? 
Yeah. Yes. Uh, you'll say two thousand experience. Two thousand. Damn! Yeah. I only got fourteen hundred. No, no, you got two. No, I'm saying you should be at fourteen thousand. Because because everybody should be at twelve thousand with their Pokemon being level six, and then you'll get two thousand, so you should be at fourteen thousand <laughs> all together. Oh, and 14, then, um, You need twenty thousand to uh, level up to the next level. Still, he got okay. twenty thousand. Right, then another so, red flag points to Morgan. Morgan is the winner. I'm at fourteen thousand. Yes. Cool. All right. And they bow you off the stage. And Paul, are you ready to do this? It's my birthday. Sure. It's my birthday. I didn't even have to throw my Jordigan out. You wanted to, though. I did want to. I was thinking about switching. That's why I was asking if I let my crocodile die, if it was going to be a bad thing or not. Oh. I, um, go I, I'm, I will say if you let your Pokemon faint, I will give them uh, half experience. <coughs> okay. So I feel like you should take some kind of penalty. I don't want to take all your XP away. <laughs> mean. So you'll take know. away half their experience? Well, no, like uh, what they would have earned. Well, so if you would earn a thousand experience, I will only give you five hundred. Okay. Hey, oh, okay. Joe, you're gonna st- if. Okay, so I have to get off because my girlfriend has to work tomorrow, and I'm loud as fuck in the kitchen right now. So you're gonna stay on though, Joe, right? While she put, does this, because I don't want to like leave her and not do it. Yeah. Or like nobody. Oh, to yeah, play. yeah. You know, if you need to go, we'll just finish her match, and then we'll probably end it there, anyways. Cool, cool. All right, good luck. Good luck, Holly. All right, I'll see you Wednesday. All right, see ya. Later. See ya. And then there were three. All right, Holly, you ready? All right, so what was his name? Snyder Sniffles. So you see <laughs> this like, old me. kind of lanky dude with this like big uh, gray trench coat and he's got his cane. It's like... <sighs> Are you ready for a battle? Oh my god, sure. Um, <laughs> oh, I think that one might be too hard. That one might be a little bit trickier. What did you say? This one might be more interesting. No, take those training wheels right. off. <laughs> go, let's go. Throws out a little go, let. Yeah. Oh, I should probably be looking at my stuff up. Yes. Uh, one second. My kitty. Two. Three. Morgan's not even here to see my kitty. <laughs> Joe's like, why are you showing off your kitty? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, while you're uh, trainer initiative. So you got it because he rolled a two. All right, so what Pokemon are you throwing out first? Oh, one of my battling, same person, their battling. No, you, no, you each have different opponents. Oh, did you already throw out your Pokemon? Yeah, uh, go what? Right here. This Grass. Thing. No. Oh, no. Fuck. I don't even know. It's a ground, ground ghost type. Ground ghost. I guess I have to go with uh, race and. Okay. So you make the first move. I make the first move. Yep. Hey, Joe, my character's going to go to the Pokemon Center okay. and come back. <laughs> So you head into the Pokemon Center, um, and you see a few people. Uh, you see the opponent that you beat. You see the opponent that Morgan beat. Um, a lot of the people who got beat are there. They kind of look at you like, you know, they're kind of mad at you. Uh, I just heal Charmeleon and walk out. 
Okay, so you give your Charmeleon to Chansey. Chansey takes them back. Um, you notice it's taking longer than usual. Oh, sh one second. <clears throat> You're welcome. <clears throat> All right, well, then I go up to Nurse Joy and ask her, what's taking so long with my Pokemon? Um, make an investigation check. <clears throat> All right, I don't get a boost for that, so. Uh, it's a 20, right? Roll 20? Yeah. Yes. What do you, okay, so what do you do, Holly? <clears throat> I'm going to do a fire spin, I guess. Okay, so. Uh, <clears throat> 12. What does it do? Make a range of attacks. Concentration, three turns, 1d6 fire damage. Okay, well, that doesn't. One D. It doesn't say, but go ahead and look it up. Does it? It needs to know if it's a range attack move or. Dex. Well, I know, but it it will say if it's a range attack move or not. No, it says range forty feet. No. Hold on. Sorry. Is it fire spin? Yeah. I'm in the house. Okay. So you release the series of moving, make it a range attack roll. So roll and add your uh, dex modifier. Roll. Yeah, and add your dex modifier. Okay, so I rolled the 19 and my dex is plus two, so 20. <clears throat> so 20? Yeah. Uh, you hit it. And then you add your proficiency level to it. But it doesn't matter, you hit it. So anyways, uh, so how much damage are you done? Okay, so now I roll where it says damage. Yes. So 1d10. <laughs> Just ignore the zero. So seven. Yeah. So seven plus what? Your dexterity modifier, I believe. Seven plus, yeah, dex, which is plus two, so eight, nine. So nine damage? Yes. Okay. Uh, 20. All right, so uh, you see uh, uh, Braxton use his little stick, create a fire spin, just throws it right into... Uh, uh, go lurk and oh, he doesn't have me to do fire. That's funny. <laughs> go up, go up. All right, and then he's gonna go ahead and <coughs> once I find move, it's gonna hit you with a rock move. Okay, so He's going to hit you with a shadow punch. So you see him wind up, and his arm gets all shadowy and black, and darkness kind of swirls off of him. Um, and he throws a punch at you. Uh, oh, hold on. Surrounded Shadow is unavoidable by an enemy. So he automatically just like scares Braxton and going, oh my god, like there's shadows, and then throws it right into uh, Braxton's stomach. Um, that's for 1d4. Uh, he only does two. Uh, six damage. Braxton. You got pencil? No, I only have a pen. <laughs> Just you can write it like right up there. I don't know how much health it has left. You said take six. Six damage. The one I saw, 41. Nice. So you just see it rots and just hits right in the stomach. Hmm, that was a good hit. <laughs> Uh, it's your, your turn. 
Let's try Psybeam, I guess. See what happens with that. I'm going to do this. So Psybeam? Yeah. All right. All right, so, so it's probably a ranged attack. A d20, and see if I get it. Right. Yeah, plus dexterity. What is it again? Psybeam. So I rolled a six and then plus two, so eight. Well, it's plus three, plus your proficiency. So, so it's plus three, plus your dexterity modeling fire, so five. So add five to your roll, so 13. 11. 11. Uh, so you try to throw the side beam. Brax just throws it right at Villa, and then Villa just steps to the side. You see the little shadowy um, essence of a ghost Pokemon uh, just sweep right past you. And then he's going to hit you for another shadow punch for uh, three damage. Socks Brax right in the face. <laughs> All right, so now what are you doing now? Fuck, you do that quick. Um, well, I guess the fire spin actually did some damage. Let's go ahead and do that again. Side beam? No, or, fire spin. Oh, go for it. Wait, didn't fire spin supposed to continue for three turns, anyways? Does it say that? Yes. It says concentration, three turns, one D6, oh, fire damage. Oh, I really got it. This is why you should just look up your moves. I have it up here right no, here. No, well, look at it. Tell me what it says. Uh... Fire spin. Return concentration. So, as long as you, so, so that means like you, you can't take any more turns. So you technically wouldn't have done that side beam. So what you do in that side beam broke your concentration. Oh shit. Yeah. So you have to continually do that. I see. So you I can see. so you can start it again, but then next turn you have to keep doing that. I'll go ahead and start it again, because then it's not gonna use any PP or for three turn for three turns, anyways. Well, no, it, well, you have to keep doing it, so it'll keep using PP, yes. Oh, okay. Uh, but you have to keep concentration on it for three turns. All right. Okay. Uh, so I'm doing fire spin, so I need to see if I hit it first off. <laughs> This chair is not solid. Okay, so I rolled a 14 plus you said the dexterity. Yes. 16. So you hit it. Okay. So then how much damage does it do? Yeah, right there. 1d10. So 1d10 plus your uh, dexterity modifier. So 8, 9, 10. So 10, 10 damage. damage. Okay. Sorry. So go where it gets swirled up in the fire again, or go let go. Let's just take all this fire damage, um, and then uh, he's just gonna shadow punch you again with the fire around him. Uh, it takes another. You take another five damage. Another five damage. Yeah. All that looking at me again. Okay, so all right, so go let uh, so go ahead. Are you gonna keep doing that again? <coughs> yeah, uh, yeah, so do another D6. Yeah, wait, I need a D6. No, it's is it just one D6 damage? 1d6 damage, yeah, because it's fire. So I got six. Okay, so six. But plus two, right? Yeah, so eight. eight. Yeah. All right, so he's going to hit you again, and then I want you to make a... Uh, 
I want you to make a wisdom saving throw on Braxton as you take four damage so you don't break the concentration. This is socking again. Okay, so I have to roll. What do I roll? So roll uh, a wisdom saving throw. So it's whatever. So roll and it's going to be whatever. Straight roll up, what do you roll? One, I need one. Yes, yeah, straight up. It's going to be one straight up roll. Oh, hi. It's a 10. So he, uh, he socks you one more time into the chest. And Braxton breaks his concentration, the fire spins gone. Shit. You take four damage. Take four damage. Again. So that's 29. Okay. All right. So let's go with the fire spinning again. again. Like so you throw the fire spin at it and go let just gets a bolt and goes down. You only have four health. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Ooh, I was not going to plan. Then return. And I gotta find something spicy for you. You see a 15, you just fall out on the field. Holy shit. I'm not gonna catch it. <laughs> Morgan would shit his pants. <laughs> He'd be so mad. He would be so mad. What happened? I said I said a big teeny pops out on the field. <laughs> <laughs> and I said I catch it. <laughs> Lightbird, go. <laughs> so you see Lightbird come out. Ooh. Lightbird. Okay. All right, what are you doing? Oh, so roll your trainer initiative again. The D20, right? Yep. Okay, so I got fucking one. So he goes first. Um, and he... Lightbird goes... Mm. Lightbird, fake out. And we're going to find out what that does. Let's just do that just to... Oh, Joe just left us. Did he, uh, did he actually leave and just turn off his camera? Oh, no. I'm still here. Like he just, okay. uh, I sneezed a lot, so. That's why, yeah, I saw that. I saw you were, like, going at it a little bit, so I figured that's why you turned it off. All right. Yeah. All right, I can only use it in the first round, make a melee attack. Uh, and so, Viper tries to go for the fake out. And... Your uh, um, Braxton just just kind of whips it away. Yeah. So nothing happened. And then what are you doing to it? Um, should I have even been looking at my ability? All right. Um, I guess I'll do side beam. So I roll and see if I do it right. Yeah, make a range. Oh, actually, hold on. It's it's something different. Let me look at it. Okay. Yeah, because I have fire spin up. I don't think my mask is Oh, Where is it? There it is. Okay. Uh, so, I, so I have to make a wisdom saving throw against your DC. Uh, move DC. So it's, uh, I think it's 10 plus your. Um, what's better? Say dexterity. So I got a roll of 12. So. Ah, uh, so he m missed it. So, um, and then... So, yeah, say so we'll roll d10. And then it'll be plus, plus your dex. So, five damage. And then it is confused. Since it failed. <coughs> 
So now Lifer just took a private mood. Took a side beam straight to the face. And now Lifer's just like. It is going to try and hmm, Fury swipes at you. That's the one. Uh, first, I gotta look up confusion. Joe, will you pull up confusion for me real quick? Yeah, one second. While you're sitting there. Uh, uh. You just assume I'm doing nothing? <laughs> Probably. I hear you clicking over there. Mr. Clicky Clicky. I'm trying to get the format of how I wanted to print it out. Mm. Yeah, we should look at the I know. I, first off, I have to experiment with that printer, so I haven't printed double sided yet on it. Confusion is a uh, psychic type into. Intelligence, wisdom, one action, 15 PP, instantaneous, 80 feet. You attempt to enter the mind of the enemy and cause confusion. Make a Wait, race. not, 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 not confusion the move, but the actual, uh, um, that status. Right. Sorry. What, what page is that on? That's like, a, it's up towards the beginning. Okay. That's like a, after the trainer stuff. Catch a Pokemon, that's not it. <clears throat> Close to there. Is it in uh Pokemon Care? Uh somewhere. I just have to look for it. Jeez, Joe, you're too slow. I'm trying to find it. <clears throat> Sorry, I can pull it up twice here. I'll find it. I find it before you. Yeah, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't see where it says uh, status. There it is, found it. What page? All right. Uh, it's uh, six other changes. And confused creatures affected for one to D4 rounds. For two rounds. As determined by a roll from the attacker. Actually, you roll. You roll this. Sorry. It loses its ability to take reactions and moves at half speed. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> After selecting a move to activate and spend PP on it, must roll D20 on a result, nine or lower, the creature itself or hits itself for the amount of damage equal to the proficiency bonus and may not make an attack but the trainer of the Pokemon still may take an action on a roll of 20 the creature is no longer confused jeez to roll fucking 20 just to get out of that that's crazy all right so it makes the move 13 is fine but it rolled a three so snap like comes out of his confusion for a second tries to take a swipe at you completely misses braxton braxton just kind of smiles all right, so go for it. Okay, so you you are doing still confused and stuff. Mm, yes. Right. So let's go with a fire spin. Okay. So roll for it. It's the twenty, right? Okay. Oh, so many dice. So eighteen. So yeah, you hit it. Eighteen. Yeah. So, well, you're supposed to be concentrating anyways on it. So you would just basically do damage to it anyways. I forgot about that. It's fire spin, right? Yeah, but I had just done psychic. Oh, that's right. Done, so you started this time. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, get swirl up and the flames. Wiper. That's all flaming and confused. And then, uh, it tries to make another error. No. So this time it does hit itself. It hurts itself in its confusion. 
And then your turn again. Okay. So you're just gonna do fire spin again to do the damage. I was gonna say I never rolled for the damage for it. Oh, you didn't want to roll the damage. <laughs> Same. Two. All right, so roll the next damage. Five. Uh, seven. Seven. Yeah, seven. Yeah, seven. Seven. So twelve damage all Yes. Okay. So just get engulfed. Let's see if you can get out of the confusion. It hurts itself in this confusion. Oh my god. Confusion, man. Go for it. Damn, what do you got left? Uh, don't you don't know. I don't know how much HP you got no, left. No, you don't. I can't ask that. No. Holy oh. shit. Let's say let's say it's in the yellow. Beep, beep, beep. All right. Um. So yeah, let's go ahead and do the concentrate for fire spin. Okay. So one d six. This will be your five, third turn. So that'd be seven. Or no, this will be your second turn. So seven damage. Okay, that one goes through, and then it's gonna take a few swipes at you. Okay, that hit hits you. And then it does uh three damage to you. And then it doesn't get to make another hit. So he just takes a swipe at you for three damage. That's your turn. All right, so this will be the third concentration then. Yep. So D6, so five, six, seven again. All right. Let's see if he comes out of the confusion. That oh, one. So it's definitely confusion, and it's going to take double damage. And it hurts itself in this confusion. And then my bridge just gets knocked out. No. Yeah. Holly has won. All right, so you get off the stage and everything, and then um, what did you roll, Joe? Twelve. Twelve. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you don't know. You don't notice anything amiss off of Miss Joy. So, and then you're asking her what's good, taking so long? Yeah. Well, sir, your Charmeleon was just very, very uh, hurt at that moment. Make another investigation roll. Okay. Well, I thought this is like real life. Like, he's really fucking waiting for Nurse Joy to like come talk to him. Five. <laughs> Bitch, take him forever. Uh, it, sounds like, it sounds like Nurse Joy. And she says, your Charmeleon was just extremely hurt. Would you um, just please give us a few more moments? Well, I guess. He only had half HP. I didn't think he was that damaged. Um, I'm a nurse here, not you. Dang. She told you, man. Well, I guess you know what you're doing. Uh, we'll, we'll, end it. we'll go ahead and end it there. Um, we'll pick it up with what um, Joe's doing and all that stuff. So we'll find out what's going on with Miss Joy. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to write stories for Wednesday and write stories for this. Well, there you go. That's gonna be fun. This is fun homework. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let me go ahead and stop the stream. All right, later guys.